All right, part A. Given that tan capital A is one third, find the exact value of sec squared A. So we don't want any rounded answers here. It must be exact. Well, the best thing to do is don't try and find A. Do not try and do inverse tan. It's much simpler not to. Use the identity. 1 plus tan squared is sec squared. So 1 plus tan squared A will always equal sec squared A. And it's sec squared A that we want. So all we've got to do is 1 plus the square of 1 third. So in this question, sec squared A is 1 plus the square of a third, which is 1 plus a ninth, which is 10 ninths. Part B, given that cosec B is 1 plus root 3, find the exact value of cot squared B. Once again, it's best if we don't try and find B. It's just easier to use the identity that links cosec with cot, and that is 1 plus cot squared B is cosec squared B. Let's put in what we know. Well, we know cosec b is 1 plus root 3. That's going to need squaring. If you can't square 1 plus root 3 without your calculator, then by all means use it. I'm going to have to take one away from both sides and then just check what do we want? We want cot squared b. So take one away from both sides. So it is 3 plus 2 root 3. And the answer to part a was sec squared a was 10 over 9. Now I've said a couple of times that we don't want to find a, we don't want to try and find b. I'll just show you what it would be like on the calculator in part b if we did try and find the angle B. So we've got cosec B is 1 plus root 3. So that means sine B is 1 over 1 plus root 3. So to get B, we'd need to do the inverse sine of 1 over 1 plus root 3. So that there is B. It's going to store that under B. And then if we want the exact value of cot squared B, cot squared is 1 over tan squared. So I need to do 1 over, I'm going to open brackets here, tan b, and I need to square tan b as well. So that's 1 over tan squared of b, which is cot squared b, and the calculator won't give us an exact answer. This is a rounded decimal. We can, of course, use the calculator to check that our answer of 3 plus 2 root 3 is correct. So if 3 plus 2 root 3 is also 6.46410 blah blah blah, then we've got the right answer. So to check that, I'm going to take away our answer, and if I get 0, then I know our answer is correct. So we've got the decimal version under ANS, I'm going to take away what we think the answer is. If I get zero, then they are the same. Yep, so we've checked our answer to part B. Okay, in part C, we're finding the possible values, note the plural, S values of tan C, given that sec of C is 3 over 2. So sec and tan, the identity that links together sec and tan is 1 plus tan squared is sec squared. Let's put in what we know. So sec c is 3 over 2. Square that and you've got 9 over 4. Take 1 away from both sides. So the tan squared c is 5 quarters. Therefore, we need to square root both sides to get tan c. You must remember plus or minus when we're square rooting. 
give your answers in the form k root 5 well that is in that form so that would get full marks if you wanted you could also write it as plus or minus a half multiplied by root 5 give your answer in either of those two ways would do in part D it's very similar to previous parts the only real difference is we've been told angle A is obtuse so that will become important towards the end of the question once again exact value wanted so we've got tan we're trying to find sec start with an identity that links those together so 1 plus tan squared A is sec squared A let's put in what we know well tan A is minus 5 over 12 so squaring that gives us 25 over 144 that's 169 over 144 and then it's sec A that we want not sec squared so we need to square root both sides and it's at this point I need to think what is this bit telling us if angle A is obtuse well let's go back to sec squared A sec A by definition is 1 over cos A so if I do the reciprocal of both sides and it doesn't matter that I've switched sides as well I just the order that I'm writing them in I get cos squared A is 144 over 169 now when I square root both sides get cos A 144 just turns out to be 12 squared 169 is 13 squared at the moment I'm going to put plus or minus but now I'm going to think angle A is obtuse so let's think about the cos graph I've sketched the cos graph from 0 to 180 degrees and obtuse angles are between 90 and 180 so the graph tells us that cos A is obtuse sorry no, cos A is negative when A is obtuse so since A is between 90 and 180 that's what obtuse means then cos A will be negative the graph tells us that if cos A is negative then sec A will also be negative so therefore sec A will be negative 13 over 12 I've done the reciprocal again to get it back to sec so just to quickly summarize what I've done at the end there I had cos A was either positive or negative 12 over 13 because A is obtuse then cos A must be negative so cos A must be negative 12 over 13 the question wanted sec A so do the reciprocal sec A must be 13 over 12 and if cos A is negative then sec A will also be negative